waiting on somebody? How y'all doing? Good. Good to see everybody. Everybody good? Yeah. Doing good. That's good. Today's a good day, easy day. Yeah, I see a lot of great friends and uh, people that I know ever today. Thank you, Mr. Kim. Good, Harry. How about you, Mr. Paul? Good. Robinson, everybody. I'm not going to go through everybody. But, uh, but nevertheless, uh, uh, I have the opportunity to select, you know, grants, you know, that our federal government is able to fund. And one that we all know just how badly we need is the upgrades to our water facility and our you know, water lines and everything right here that's going to ensure not only good water for our citizens, but it's going to also ensure the fact that uh, we're not going to get in a situation to where our costs are going to go straight through the roof to all, I think there's 2,200 people that are you know, recipients, recipients of this. And so, so the net of the whole thing is just, is just this. We, uh, these are the things that we need to do. These are the upgrades we need to do, you know, in this state. And I wish to goodness that we could have billions of dollars to be able to do these upgrades nonstop all the time. We were able to, to achieve uh, 13 million for the federal government. And when we pick the projects that we thought were the most in need. And, uh, and so, you know, we're, we're really happy. I know I, I live within a rock's throw of this great town and, and uh, I know what we all experienced in the terrible flood and everything we've gone through and it's been tough going, that's all there is to it. And I know just from the standpoint of just water pressure and everything in the last months, it's become a real issue and so so, you know, I could go on and on, but you don't need me to go on and on. I need somebody to read this because I can't see it. Well, maybe I can, maybe I can pull this one off. <laughs> maybe. Because this is short. This says uh, Community de Development Block Grants. Stephen, he didn't have to leave. <laughs> no, no, no. He's, uh, listen, I, I really love kids. I really, really do. You know, uh, our first grandbaby, you know, is, is Jill's son and Adam. And uh, the other day, I mean, he's, he's starting to talk now. And the other day, he, you know, Jill can point to a picture of a baby and say, JC, what's that? And he says, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and so he may have a little French in him somewhere. I don't know. But, uh, but this is a community development block grant. Now, I'm going to have a little trouble here. This is to certify that the grant of, and get this now, it's a million five hundred thousand dollars. This is a great big one. Has been awarded to the city of Ronsford for the water distribution system and rehabilitation project. And it's got smaller print that I can't possibly see, and it's got my signature. So, you know, it... Uh, the other day, we were able to do a broadband project in Mercer County for $155,000. That was great. And today, we're able to do a great big one and everything in the town of Ronsford for $1,500,000. So I can't congratulate you more. I know the need, and uh, I'm able to be a little part or a great big part or whatever it may be. But uh, I'm really happy that, that it's happened. It's happened right here. So congratulations, and if somebody would come up and get your picture made, I, you know, I'd, I'd love to, I'd love to have it. <laughs> okay, now look, make me look good here. <laughs> right here, right here. Very, very good. Thank you. No, thank you guys so much. We appreciate it very much. Well, just, uh, we're just going to keep on doing good stuff. That's all there is to it. I do believe that, uh, and, and if, if, if I could just say just a couple other words, you know, I do believe that uh, our state has turned one corner, you know, and we've still got rocks to flip over, 
mean, we still got people that are hurting. And, but we've done a lot of stuff. I mean, we've done lots and lots of stuff. I mean, we walked in on day one and, and things were, well, I've said it over and over. We were bankrupt. I don't care how you cut it. It's all there is to it. People leaving the state like crazy and more of the left, the worse it got. You know, and we had to turn a whole lot of things around. But just think, we've, we've got real live stuff that's going on with our roads, big time stuff. Now, do we need to do better on our secondary roads? Absolutely, absolutely. And I fought that battle for as long as I could fight it. And a really good man, Tom Smith, a good man. I mean, Ed knows him really well, a good man. But I just couldn't get him off the bubble. I mean, his philosophy was just not my philosophy because I really truly believed with all my soul that that the big projects are very important. There's no question about that. But you've got to get to the convenience store, too. And so we had to channel money back the other way. Brad, outside. If <laughs> <laughs> you can't turn it off. I can't do anything at this state place, and that's all there's to it. They are really dangerous. That's why I don't let them drive me. <laughs> I'm just teasing. They're really great. They really are. From time to time, I lose them, and then they really go crazy because they don't know where I'm at. <laughs> and, you know, I was, uh, I was coming through Bluefield one day, and, and, and I lost them. And this little deputy sheriff, young kid, you know, pulls me over because <laughs> I've gone through a stoplight on the yell, and he pulls me over, and he walks up to the car. And as he strolls up to the car, he has no idea who it is. And I roll the window down, and he looks at me, and he says, you are, <laughs> never mind what he said, <laughs> but nevertheless, uh, uh, back to the secondary roads. We're going to make a push like you can't believe, and we're going to do it this summer. This it, it, it's even going to be forever more, and we're all over this, and we're going to really make a difference. And the, and and all the counties are doing lots of stuff right now. I mean, everywhere I go, they're. They're patching potholes and doing all that they can do and everything, and they haven't got the flush of money that we're going to be sending them, you know, and uh, that we're finding ways to be able to carve out some monies and get it to them. So just think, just think for just a second. We have put a stake in the sand as far as education, and we've really done something there. You know, we have done something with our highways and our roads that really and truly were in bad need forevermore, and, and we neglected for probably decades, you know. We have done something for our veterans. We have done something for the older people now in Social Security, you know, and phasing out their tax on, you know, on the Social Security tax and everything, state income tax. You know, we've done, we've exempted our veterans' retirement, you know, and, and now the last little piece of the puzzle is this, and that's the drugs. Now, I want to tell you this and everything because I told a bunch of people this over in Bluefield because I came right from this. But now just think about this. Drugs, we all know, are cannibalizing all of us. And that's a real big time problem. Not only can we not get a, a qualified workforce and everything going and everything, but, but within, within all the other aspects, you know, we have really made education reform. I mean, we got rid of A through F and we got rid of, you know, all this crazy testing that was going on in schools. We put a lot of local control back into schools. We got the computer technology, uh, you know, classwork, to, I mean, stuff to go on in the schools now, you know, or the teaching. And, uh, and then I really believe when we go through this special session that we'll get some more smaller tweaks, you know, on the education front. What I would hope that we could get is we, we could get what I said in the beginning, and I think I think the Dems, I think the, 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 the unions, I think all of it would go with us to have two or three pilot charter schools. I don't think that that's going to be a deal breaker. I think we can get the supplies to our teachers, the dollars to be able to where they can buy supplies. I think we can get our poorer counties, you know, basically <clears throat> the school aid formula on not our poorer counties, but our counties that have lost population. We need to help those counties. You know, and uh, I don't know, there's something, oh, maybe we can get, you know, something to really incentivize our math and science to be able to, 
to be able to do something and, and, and attract those people that we really desperately need. But we've, we've done all kinds of things to make education better. Now, let me say this too. I'm a real, real believer in this. I believe our public schools are good, you know, and I believe our teachers are good. I believe in all honesty that we've got surely to improve and we've always got to work to improve. I think everybody wants that and everything. But at the same time, I don't think we're broken. I don't think our system is torn to pieces and broken. You know, I think really and truly we've got good people and we just got to work on getting better. And we got to work together about getting better. This idea of fighting with one another all the time, I don't get it. I just don't get it. I've never gotten that. So if you look at it, the roads, education, the veterans, the older, the you know, Social Security people, and then the drugs. And I want to tell you this real quick, and then I'll shut up. Friday, I'm sitting, you know, with an attorney that's a great friend, and we're working on this thing. And just out of the clear blue nowhere, he gets a call, and I could tell the person that was on the call was, you know, speaking pretty loudly. And all of a sudden, he just broke down crying. And he started screaming, my son, my son, my beautiful son. My beautiful son's dead. And, and I'm thinking, well, what in the world? He's had a car wreck for sure. And, and then after he settled down just a little bit, I said, what happened? And he said, he overdosed on drugs last night. You know. Now, 23 years old, just graduated from college, you know, he had a measured IQ of 166. Don't think for one second in your life that these drugs are only affecting the, the poor or the people that don't know or whatever. They touch every last one of us. It doesn't matter if it's rich, poor, Democrat, Republican, union, non-union, black, white. It doesn't matter. They're ripping us apart. That's all there is to it. It's such a shame. And we got to fix it. And we, we've made a bunch of moves on the chessboard to be able to really do something. And uh, the Jim's Dream thing, I thank the legislature for getting that through and and that'll be, a, that'll be one of the building blocks, but there's a lot of things that are com coming down the pipeline that we need to turn the knob on and just keep turning it until we can get it under control. We'll never eradicate it, but if we can just get it under control, because it's killing us. But anyway, you got a wonderful community, and I'm really, really proud to be a part of this great county and just, uh, I love every aspect of it, especially the coaching part of it. That gets a little stressful at times, and, you know, whether it be the boys or the girls, and I, I've got a lot of wonderful memories. So I'm going to leave you. I'm going to leave you on a good note. we got a million and a half dollars. We're going to do big-time upgrades, and it's going to be good stuff, good stuff. So, uh, again, thank you for having me, and thank you for all you do all the time. All right, I'm out of here. Thank you all. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Let's do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Thank you so much.